It's been said in the mountains, you're sometimes invited, sometimes tolerated, and sometimes told to go home. I've just entered national forest land in the North Cascades. I'm surrounded by a sea of clouds with only the highest peaks emerging like islands in the sky. No other soul is in sight. All I see are clouds, snow, rock, and ice. Leading up to and during this trek up to this particular summit, I've imagined the type of morning I might have on top. As I've learned in the past, I can hope for the best, but I know I should expect anything in these mountains. This is the type of morning you dream about. You get to a summit and you look down upon a sea of clouds in all directions. It is magical. There's no other way to describe it. Wow, amazing. I'm in the North Cascades today. Uh, it is about 15, 20 minutes before sunrise. I'm just gonna take some time to eye up some compositions. And um, once I get a shot, I'll uh, I'll uh, walk you guys through how I'm composing it, how I'm setting it up. So. so right now I'm composed a shot of Mount Baker. There are cloud layers in front of the peak and just this wispy cloud shooting off the summit. Baker is one of my favorite mountains. It's the third tallest peak and volcano in Washington State. It is looking spectacular at the exact moment and uh, yeah I'm taking a pretty standard telephoto shot of it right now. I'm set up on a tripod so I'm gonna be just shooting at a sweet spot aperture of f8 and an ISO 100 at the exact moment given the amount of light I'm shooting at an eighth of a second of a shutter speed so. I think I'm gonna like that one. All right, gonna set up for a vertical shot. Mount Baker, known as Comacultion or Great White Watcher by the indigenous peoples here, is a supremely beautiful volcano. I photographed it from every different angle and in all seasons, but these conditions are truly unique. I'm starting to see how the clouds and winds are moving fast now, and it's really unclear what the morning is going to bring for me. So shortly after taking that photo of Mount Baker, it was becoming clear that the clouds around me we're rising and we're possibly going to engulf the peak that I'm standing on. So I set up a time lapse just in case that could be an interesting event. I've currently been blocked from most other views of peaks because of the clouds rising. Uh, we'll see, I'm just gonna wait it out and see if I'm engulfed or if they sink back down. So stay tuned.
Well, it happened. I was engulfed by a cloud. It's been like this for the last 20 minutes. So basically haven't been taking any photos. Just hoping this is temporary. The sun, as you can see, is trying to peek out, but it's struggling. I'm struggling with it. I'm so cold, but I've been doing jumping jacks. This is the price to pay though for landscape photography in the mountains at this time of year. All right, you win some, you lose some. I waited about two hours for the clouds to lift and it never happened. <laughs> but that's the way it goes sometimes. So uh, super excited about those initial views of Mount Baker. Uh, excited to edit those photos and that time lapse. Although the clouds never lifted and although I never, you know, as a result, that was never able to get those, uh, you know, telephoto shots of those distant peaks. It was still just great to be out here. Always is, it's a privilege to be out here. Uh, what, what better way to clear the mind with so much going on, so. Thank you for watching. This is going to be one of many more videos, and I love your support. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave me a comment with a question you have or an idea for a topic to cover in this future video. I'd really appreciate it. So, all right, y'all, take care. We'll see you out there. See you next time. Cheers. Later, when I'm back at home in Seattle and recalling my time here, I'm gonna remember this scene. It was a fleeting moment and perspective I alone had. Perhaps that makes it all the more special. Sure, I could wonder what would have been had the clouds stayed at bay, but I know the mountains here call the shots. When we get that rare invitation to witness their beauty, even if briefly, we do so wholeheartedly and with gratitude.